Hi class, just to make sure we're clear on one of the techniques I've been using to get this much, much lighter uh, use of pigments is I've been mixing, especially on this this piece here, we'll go back to in a little bit, but see I've got this sort of this, this really sort of light, sort of a, a light blue and purple. I'm not just using strictly from the pigment itself, I'm mixing colors and then adding a lot of water and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm bringing in um, a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, you can see here, um, I'm using this purple in the back. Okay, and I've got this, so I've got this, that's actually a pretty good, this. so I use this blue, this purple, and I've got this nice, neat, deep color, maybe a little dark, darker purple here. There we go, that's a little, but I wanna make sure that it's really light. So I maybe add a little bit of light blue Probably about, but you know, a little bit here, maybe a little too light. And I'm going to gray it out just a little. Gray it out means I'm just going to use just a little bit of black, just to give it sort of a, just to gray it out just a little bit. See that? There we go. That looks about right. But it's a little too thick pigment wise, right? So what I'm going to do is go over here and just sort of, um, you know, Dry my brush out just a little bit. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a, just a little bit on the tip, see like this? Just a little bit, okay? So when I go back to my painting, up in here, as an example, I'm just gonna dab just a little bit like that, see that? And I'm just dabbing these lines. And part of the impressionist way of doing things that they were they were actually just dabbing things little dots almost there we go so that's a little bit of blue in there and again i'm still going off of sort of this this the original monet's work um and then so i went, went ahead and kept working on the details so yeah just a little bit so again when you go back to this color you just just take a just pick a little bit like this in fact, I think I'm gonna put a little more purple in it. There we go. So it's kind of rich. It'll, it'll be too, a little too dark just as is. So I make sure I knock out the water and just add just a little bit at the tip like that. See that? And that'll give me some, sort of this build up this light. There we go, that's a little better. I like that a little more than just that blue. But see, I'm just dabbing it. And I'm using the pin, or the, excuse me, the point of the um, the brush to kind of get that leaf kind of kind of look to it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna just keep working on this a little bit. Um, let's see, this is the larger. There we go. That's it. Yeah, I think it's coming along pretty good. Again, I just keep going in here and dabbing things. So this is this is for the trees. This sort of this purple, a little bit of orange, just a little bit. If you look at some of the um, some of the trees around you, especially with the fall. Again, this is an impressionist view of what's what's going on. So I just used just that tip. I just sort of build it up on top of. Just a little bit of contrast in here, like like a a branch. Still a little heavier than I wanted to. I was still learning how to make these things lighter, but for me, this actually is, is works pretty good. So we're trying to do it light and just build up these colors. Let's 
a little bit in there. Maybe just a little bit in here. Okay, so that's the that's the cool. Okay, and we got Okay. I think that's about it for the trees. Okay, that's fine. Um, we've got a little bit of blue back here. The distinction in the town. This is like a, a church here maybe or something in the town. Just a little bit of contrast. Okay, a little more detail back there. And then we're gonna switch switch to green. Same thing now on the green. What I'm doing. I'll mix. Um, in fact, what I'm gonna do, this is sort of my blue water. See that, so I'll put that to the side. I get some fresh water. There we go. And with the green, the green that you get in the kit like this, it's a little too, um, a little too strong a green just to use it right as from the palette. So I'll mix it with a little bit of this, this tan or this brown color over here. And that makes it look olive. See that? So you mix this with this. You get this nice sort of olive color. That would be my light, light olive. Now for the darker green, I'm gonna mix this one here. Maybe take a little bit of that. And this is kind of a nice dark, dark green. I'm gonna mix this a little bit. Yeah, that might work. Let's see, maybe a little bit more. A little stronger green. There, there we go. Yeah, so I got my lighter green, which I'll go back and fix. I think I contaminated it here. Put a little more warm in there. There, so this is my nice light olive green. I've got my dark green, okay? basically down here in the bottom. Get a little stronger. A little, just a few darker pieces. That, 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 that'll be the... And she's in the grass. So just a little bit more contrast.
gonna take this, I, like, I didn't like this, I'm gonna take this down just a little bit with the water. There we go, yeah, a little more. Again, I'm sort of focusing around this area here, you know, a little darker because that's closer to you. And uh, just a few more details on her face. Again, on the face, very light. You can see by the impressionists, you know, they didn't run into a lot of details. Just so this nice, almost uh, soft, very soft kind of way of looking at things. So I'm going to be very careful with her face. Get some fresh water. A different, never different hue now. I'm gonna let that dry and then go in and maybe put a little bit of detail. But you can see from the picture here, there's not a lot of detail. And the impression is just a little bit of eyebrows and the two little eyes and kind of a nose, but that's that's a very, her hair's a little darker. Make your hair just a little bit darker. I can add just a little bit of water to come move this out. Just, there we go, just a little bit of that. Just a faint part of her chin is like right there. Very faint, very light, very light touch. And a little bit more on her hair. I'm just gonna use a little bit of black, just a little bit. I've already got some blue in there. So I think the black on top of it, just a little bit, will give that extra little detail it needs. Oop. So you should have waited. See, once it gets wet, it, it's hard to get that definition. I want that little curl of her hair right there. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I do it, before I do anything else. Oop. There we go. So that's basically it. I'll send you the final work. But again, how to keep the, the paints, the, the pigments very light 
and with the impressionist view of things, you know, how to keep this, this idea of just very, um, sort of your dabbing details in here like this, and a little bit of swirls, which was sort of a, really a Monet, but it's also an impressionist view of how they painted. Okay, great. Have a great week.